want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, how do you pick stocks for intraday futures? Answer by Abhi Shekhar. So, many people have been allured by the Indian stock markets, especially because of the incredible returns they have delivered in past year. On one hand, there are stocks like Recom which went up by 5,060% in just two sessions, while Infobeam which fell more than 40% in the last session. On account of such moves, most people think what if we can catch such moves and make a killing? Unfortunately, the possibility of getting such stock moves on a daily basis is not possible. But volatility is what day traders seek. Based on the question, here are the four stocks which I believe one can trade daily or on most days to get amazing returns. Remember by trade I mean both short and long. Before I mention about that, let's understand, which stocks are the best when it comes to intraday trade. For intraday trade the best stocks are those who demonstrate the following qualities. Trade trending stocks. These have more possibilities of breakouts. Trade highly liquid stocks so that on a day's level you get a decent entry and exit. Trade stocks which have decent volatility, not too high, between 24% on most days. Trade stocks which are medium beta stocks. Now, based on these parameters and technical analysis here are the four stocks which one can actually keep in their portfolio and make decent gains. Reliance Capital. Trending, yes. Liquid, yes. Average volume 6,809 volatility minus 9.57% change. Beta medium still trending, yes. Liquid, yes. Average volume 18,935 volatility minus 7.99% change. Beta medium to high. Ford is healthcare. Trending, yes mostly. Liquid, yes. Average volume 9,282 volatility minus 6.33% change. Beta medium, with trending yes. Liquid yes. Average volume 9430 volatility minus 5.73% change. Beta high. So, you can see that the following stocks can give decent day moves and help in making good intraday gains. For reference, here's what we made in the last session until 45,000 gains in a single day swing is never bad. And seen it? Now some words of caution based on my decades experience in the markets. No one makes gains every day and intraday. You can't trade the same stocks all your life. You need to shuffle with changing times. Discipline and stop loss are the key in intraday trading. I hope this answer helps. In case you wish to know more about investments, trading and strategies, don't forget to subscribe my recently launched channel, Abhishek Cars Academy, and also like plus follow me on Abhishek Car. If you like the answers, make sure you leave a review there. Always happy to help. AK Trade Guru. Answer by Tejas Kode. Trading is a play on momentum. So it is important to choose stocks which have momentum during the day. There are over 1600 plus stocks listed on NSE and it's practically impossible to identify the opportunities across all of them. Hence, most traders follow 20-30 stocks in which they feel they can identify profitable short-term opportunities. Although widely practiced, it is not the most efficient way of doing things. The best way to choose stocks for intraday trading is by using technical screeners. Our in-house trading platform Fires One has inbuilt scanners which helps traders take informed decisions. These screeners are specifically built to help identify stocks across sectors, different market capitalizations and indices. Also, stuff like options chain analysis helps build strategies based on open interest analysis volume analysis etc. In June 2017, we're launching Fires Web which has a special emphasis on sharding and simplicity. Watch out for that one. It is super easy to analyze and trade stocks. Hope this gave you some insights. Enjoy your weekend. Answer by Surya Kamal. Best stocks are not available off the shelf. Best stocks are often hidden in the heap of other stocks. One must learn to screen their best stocks from the heap. This is what is called as stock screening. First identify 50 undervalued stocks by yourself to analyze further. Finding stocks to analyze is something many investors struggle with, but it is really not that hard. Internet has provided us with an information overloaded and there are thousands of stocks listed. But the internet has also provided us with powerful tools to filter out the garbage. Using free online stock screeners like Google Finance Stock Screener is my preferred method of finding stock ideas, because it allows you to make an independent, 
rational selection which is not influenced by opinions and emotions of others. Remember, although we are looking for undervalued stocks, a cheap valuation is of no use if the financial situation of the underlying company is terrible. The basic criteria to use in this stage to filter the stocks are, return on equity greater than 15% indicates high profitability and potentially a competitive advantage if debt to equity ratio less than 0.5 implies that the company does not heavily depend on outside capital to finance its growth. Current ratio greater than 2 makes sure that the company is able to pay its short-term obligations. It is tricky to filter on PE, because PE ratios differ greatly per industry and thus you potentially exclude perfectly sound investment ideas. On top of that, PE in itself does not say much about whether or not a company is undervalued with respect to its intrinsic value. Sometimes I do add dividend yield greater than 1% as a criteria, because I like receiving a steady dividend income. Once you have determined your criteria, then you can do the following. Once you have determined your criteria, use Google Finance Online Stock Screener and try to end up with around 50 stocks that matches your above criteria. Make your own list of favorite stocks that comes under the above criteria. Track them using Investment Portfolio Tracker. When price of these stocks fall by 15 to 20 percent, grab them. This is the easiest way. How to use the Google Finance Stock Screener and Portfolio Tracker. My personal favorite. A completely free stock screener with an easy interface to filter out the good from the bad. The Google Finance India provides us two most valuable products, Stock Screener, Portfolio Tracker. Portfolio Tracker can be used to view stocks, ETFs and funds and track their performance. Two. Google Finance Stock Screener for Indian Stocks. This is the real USP of Google Finance. I have not seen a better stock screener than Google Finance till date. Step 1. Go to Google Stock Screener. Step 2. Select country as India, exchange as BSE and currency as India Rupee. You can add slash remove criteria as per your requirement. On applying these criteria I got the list of around 600 stock from 6300 somewhat listed BSE stocks consisting of all sectors. If I go sector specific the list will reduce further. This is a great tool for generating new stock ideas. One should understand that this generated list is not the guarantee of perfection. You should also check other fundamental and technical parameters before taking final decision on investment. Cheers! Surya www. Return Wealth. Come.